Israel continues to pummel Gaza as it vows to finish the war started by Hamas. Relentless airstrikes are being carried out even as Israel has laid siege to Gaza, cutting off electricity, water and fuel to the Hamas-held enclave. At the same time, tanks are being swiftly moved to the border and an unprecedented 300,000 reservists have been called up as Israel readies for a ground invasion. Israel's deliberate shift towards a more intensive military approach is aimed at exacting a heavy toll on Hamas. The savage attacks that Hamas perpetrated against innocent Israelis are mind-boggling. Slaughtering families in their homes, massacring hundreds of young people at an outdoor festival, kidnapping scores of women, children and elderly, even Holocaust survivors. Hamas terrorists bound, burned and executed children. They are savages. Hamas is ISIS. And just as the forces of civilizations united to defeat ISIS, the forces of civilization must support Israel in defeating Hamas. But complicating this already volatile situation is the fact that Hamas is holding more than 100 Israelis hostage and has threatened to execute them every time Israel strikes civilian locations in Gaza without prior notice. Early in the morning on the 7th of October, Hamas pulled off a stunning assault, reaching the Israeli border via land, air and sea and taking the country's world-famous intelligence agencies completely by surprise. Seriously, it's really living hell. Never seen something like this. I've been in, a war, in two wars in my life and never seen, seen anything like this. Bodies, all places for the slaughter. The slaughter is there. They didn't care if you are a man or a woman, you are young or old man. They are killers, they are murderers. What they did is never be, can be forgiven. And one day we will avenge the Muslims in Israel and we will avenge all the Palestinians. Seeing the size and the scale of the operation, questions were raised about possible external support, especially from Hamas's longtime ally, Iran, which could escalate the conflict into a wider regional war in the Middle East. But Tehran has denied the allegation. Hamiyan regime and bazi az afrad khud regime khaseb ya be gui hai dar in do se ruz kardand be edame dare az jomle in ke Iran Islami ro pusht in harakat muarifi mikonand, eshteba mikonand. Mo albat az Palestine defa mikonim. ما از مبارزات دفاع میکنیم ما پیشانی و بازوی طراحان مدبر و هوشمند و جوانان شجاع فلسطین رو میبوسیم ما به اونها افتخار میکنیم این هست Hamas's unprecedented offensive against Israeli cities have sharply divided global forces into two camps the West has expressed solidarity with Tel Aviv. The people who support Hamas are fully responsible for this appalling attack. They are not militants. They are not freedom fighters. They are terrorists. Their barbaric acts are acts of evil. There are not two sides to these events. There is no question of balance. I stand with Israel. We stand with Israel. The United Kingdom stands with Israel against this terrorism today, tomorrow, and always. And then there is the other side, which is pointing fingers. The Ukrainian crisis continues. But, unfortunately, we see a rapid increase in the situation in the East. Я думаю, что многие согласятся со мной в том, что это яркий пример провала на политике Соединенных Штатов на Ближнем Востоке. Hamas claimed its attack was retribution for what is described as attacks on women, the desecration of the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, and the ongoing siege of Gaza. The group's primary goal was to shake up the status quo and put the Palestinian issue back on the regional and international agenda. But will Hamas still be left standing with the backing of regional allies? 
or will Israel snuff out the group once and for all?